So t- tell me about your involvement in the arts. Like, what kind of art do you make? And tell me why you're so passionate about it. Okay, sounds good. I'm Hannah Schwartz. I'm a second year student this year. I study theater and education with a minor in music in high school. I was really, really quiet. I actually missed a lot of my freshman year because I had really bad social anxiety. And when I was like trying to form my identity, I really got involved in acting classes. And eventually, you know, my teacher kind of called me out nicely, but he kind of was like, you gotta actually participate in this class. He kind of nudged me and I went from never talking to now never shutting up because of it and I I can't, like I just appreciate that so much. My name is Aaron Sanchez. I am a first year at Oregon State University and I'm studying photography. I think a lot of people often forget how impactful art can be and we get so distracted by work and school and all this that we have nowhere to express our emotion and our feeling and I feel like having art and photography and any kind of medium just allows you to open up a new world and it's kind of like self-care in a way because you are aware of what you're feeling and I think it's important to for me as an artist to release that into the community to just remind everyone that art is a way of therapy it's just kind of a curing like medium my name is Sarah Strobel. I am a senior at Oregon State. I am graduating this spring with my BA in choral music education. The cool thing about music is you don't have to be a scholar in it to understand it and to feel the emotions tied with it. Like the cliche phrase, when words fail, music speaks. I think, you know, music is a language that allows us to connect with other people just on that basic fundamental level. It's just why I'm so incredibly passionate about it. I mean, you can create these worlds within your imagination you can connect people who have, in all other senses, would never have met before. And I think it's definitely given me a sense of, sense of humanity, especially during um, like this COVID time. So the arts complex, why is this a big deal for Oregon State? The arts project is the most important thing that's happened into the arts in 150 years at OSU which is to say it's the most important thing that has ever happened. This building will draw students from across campus into a place in which the arts are fundamental. And faculty will be energized by that. They'll be challenged by that. They'll have to up their game. And you're gonna see innovation and growth through that. And now, in the perfect time in history, we're gonna focus on the arts in the 21st century in a 21st century way. We are going to have access to state-of-the-art technology. That's going to be huge for us in terms of the opportunities we can offer for our students in terms of education and training. I'm really confident that a new space is going to be a really great recruiting tool for students who get to see that OSU as an institution is putting value on the arts. Having a newer facility that is actually designed for the needs of a theater is going to open up a lot of different ways we can utilize sound technology and projection and visuals and just ways that we haven't been able to do it before. I think it's going to increase the types of productions that we can do, the risks that we can take, and it's just, it's very exciting. Since Ed Ray came to Oregon State University, he's made it clear from the very beginning, arts are central to his understanding of what a university is. And very quickly, he began talking about the fact that Oregon State University needed better arts facilities. This is the realization of that dream. I can't imagine a final scene being any better for Ed than for this facility to be built. And I would say on behalf of all the arts faculty, we thank you for your belief in us. I'm so incredibly thankful to every single donor that has donated their time, their money, and their advocacy efforts for this because arts is such an underfunded program across the U.S. and dedicating the resources that you have to the futures of all of these students is such a selfless, beautiful, inspiring way to give back to your community and to give back to the thing, you know, that has inspired you, like, your entire life. Art is one of the best ways to explore the human condition, what it means to be alive. That's how we get to see the world through other people's eyes. I think art can give people a sense of purpose. It can help you discover things about yourself that you didn't even know and that you weren't capable of. And I think most importantly, it just makes us think about the world a little bit differently and what our place in the world is and what it can be.
it's not enough to pay the bills. It's not enough to make a living. We, we try to make a life. And humankind has proven over thousands of years that making a life includes being influenced by and participating in the arts. It is as central to being human as any experience that we have. We are part of that experience. And this building will become a part of it for the next generation.